and Jim Faree. So Tony Lima now, holding a two-stroke advantage over Arnold Palmer, the last threesome on the course, as the second annual Carling World Golf Championship is just moments away from conclusion. And what a championship it has been. Held, of course, to promote better understanding and goodwill to this truly international game of golf, and that's exactly what they've done. There have been some fine rounds turned in here by the foreign players, Roberto DiVincenzo from Argentina. And now let's uh, bring in Kerry Middlecoff here. Uh, Kerry, uh, the second shot here at 18, as soon as the crowd <laughs> gets away from in front of the green, uh, doesn't present Tony with too much difficulty right now. He's in prime position. It doesn't now, Jack, but uh, if Arnold had have made that putt, uh, I think Tony then would have had to consider laying up short and not getting those two big deep bunkers. Uh, we may see Tony take a run at it now, but uh, it's a lot easier than it would have been. And as you said, Arnold's putt should have broken left. That grain's strong. So anyway, now back to Joe Campbell and Jack Whitaker. Campbell hits this nicely with a slight draw on it. And he comes up on the left side of the fairway just short of the green by about 20 yards. Tony Lima, five under. He can make six here and still win. It's hit his with slight draw too, but it's coming up very nicely. Bounces out more toward the center. It's still rolling up this steep incline 25 yards from the green here at 18. He'll have a pitch up. As we said, that pin is cut 115 feet back. But Tony ought to have a good look at it. He's far enough up that steep incline. And now Jim Faree. Four over at this point. Excellent. Put it out to the right. And the gallery here is scurrying. As the marshals go down to spot it. And as they walk up here, the leader of this second annual Carling World Golf Championship is Tony Lima at five under par. Very few of them have quit. Surprising here on a Monday afternoon, a lot of them didn't get to the office because they were out here early, and they're staying now to the bitter end to see Tony Lima come up here leading this tournament. He is five under par. Arnold Palmer is three under par. And Tony is just in front with a chip up for his third. But the galleries here and the international players have certainly made this a unique tournament and one to remember for a long, long while. Hideo Sugimoto of Tokyo, Japan, at a fine 68 here today. Yesterday, Will Farmanick of Canada had a 67, which ties the course record. It's just been a wonderful tournament, and here it is in all its colored excitement now. It's coming to a close. Tony Lima, who won the Buick Championship this year for his only major win in 1965 going to take a look and he's got to take a look because this pin is so far back the screen's so large and he's down in a depression uh, his fairway uh, position slants away from the green Tony Lima who so far has refused to crack under tremendous pressure brought to bear by Arnold Palmer who charged from four strokes behind him to catch him at the 15th and Tony just kept playing steady golf Jim Furry now who has pushed his second shot down to the right of the trap which guards this green and into the gallery they formed a alley down there for him he'll have to pitch over the trap and up to the green and about he's about 40 yards from the pin this tournament which is scheduled to begin on Thursday we had to cancel the first round some fine rounds in that and it's truly been representative of the best golf in the world.
any one of ten players could have won this when they started final play. Lima's third shot up here at 18, and it is just magnificent. Four feet from the pin here at 18. As Tony Lima gets a step nearer this second annual Carling World Golf Championship. He is there in three. He leads Arnold Palmer at this point by two strokes. Jim Furry now, deep in the gallery, 40 yards away from the pit. Jack Cuthill of the PGA, making sure that Jim has a shot. But now I think Camel will be. Approaching before Faree. Almost hit the pin. It goes by six feet. A fine shot here by Joe Camel, who is one under par at this time and who has had a fine tournament. Now, Jim Faree. And up he comes very nicely if it'll stop. Awfully hard to hold this green. It runs off the fringe, comes back, and stops in heavy fringe. 22 feet from the pin at 18. That's Tony Lima, the nearest ball to the pin there, waving to the crowd. Six feet for birdie four, which would put him six under. Arnold Palmer in the clubhouse, three under. On a beautiful August day here in New England that has seen some tremendous golf. Sam Sneed finished this tournament one under.